Here you go, there's another guy putting tape on a plane. So today is um, 2018 Red Bull Air Race Championships. Uh, 2018 season kicks off here in Abu Dhabi in this beautiful corniche you can see behind me. It really is perfect conditions for um, some air racing. You know, sun is shining. People are beginning to come in. We're here at the, uh, at the Sky Lounge, which is one of the hospitality lounges, courtesy of Hamilton. And Hamilton are the official timekeepers of the whole thing, actually. So um, they've been really kind. So we're going to check out what goes on and we're looking forward to um, the qualifying in a little while. So the race is all about uh, when these planes go through the pylons. There are these uh, big inflated pylons. So I'm going to go try and see if I can get into this pylon which is Check out what it's, uh, what it's all about. Um, a bit of embedded journalism for you. We're gonna have a, we're about to go right inside the flap. So what I've done is I've done a security measure, put my cap backwards. So here we are. We're uh, literally inside the pylon now. <laughs> So what happens is now they've um, well and truly on the way for the uh, qualifying. They actually lift up from Albertine, which is an executive airport. It's uh, purely business jets. But obviously for the Red Bull Air Race Championships, um, they're allowing the Red Bull guys to take off from there. And they literally lift off, they come here. As they approach, the guy would go, you're clear, smoke away. Then they come in, they go through the chicanes, they do their bit, they do their flips, their um, the cool stunts, they do another flip, they do the thing twice, and then off they go. of the um, Red Bull Air Race Championships. We've come down to Albertine Airport, which is an executive airport, so it's all about private jets. But what they do as part of the airport is dedicated to the Red Bull Air Race. So you have the, um, so we're at the hangar tour now, you have the hangars, you can see behind me. The guy was just explaining it to us that each team, uh, they get the same engine, the same propeller. They can't modify it, it's not like motorsport, and they only have one plane throughout the season. So throughout the races, only one plane. Apparently it's traditional. The first hangar is always the um, last year's winner, and his plane is displayed. Uh, last year's uh, champion, Yoshi Muraya of Japan. Let's um, have a look at his airplane. So obviously that looks more like a um, show hangar than anything else. There's not a lot of work going on. I see a bunch of people here across by the um, by another hangar, basically. And there's a Hamilton plane there. Hamilton. Let's go check out what they're doing. So yeah, we were just in the um, in the hangar over there, and I got a little bit of footage of the guy kind of putting tape on the um, on the plane. It reminded me of um, <clears throat> uh, there was a comedy called uh, Major League, and uh, it's about a baseball team. They don't have a lot of money, so <clears throat> you know. And the team plane, when the engineers are fixing it, the guys literally they have a cracked wing, and the guys putting. Um, scotch tape around the wing to kind of fix it that kind of reminded me of that but anyway it's, um, funny to me here you go there's another guy putting tape on a plane i don't know if the 
FAA approval of this. So there, there are actually two, um, two leagues, so to speak. There's a Challenger Cup and there's a Masters Cup. Oh, so the Challenger Cup, they're kind of the young guys, the younger pilots, and they kind of learn what's happening. But their planes are a little bit less powerful. They're two-seater planes. Um, and they're all issued by Red Bull, whereas in the master class, uh, their planes are owned by the people who fly them. They're allowed to kind of tweak them a little bit as much as, uh, you know, allowed by the, um, by the regulating authority. The, uh, the sun is setting now over the, uh, the lovely Abu Dhabi Bay where the races uh, took place and um, it's, we've come to the end of the Abu Dhabi Air Race Championships. So now the race is over, we're going to head over to the podium to see the, uh, the Masterclass winners take their uh, trophies. That was the end of the uh, 2018's first leg of the Red Bull Air Race Championships. And the uh, next one is in Cannes. Um, yeah, until that. Well, we're probably not going to be covering Cannes, but yeah, until the next Esquire vlogs.